Dirk ain't like me at first. He used yeah. to kick with my little brother. Yeah. <laughs> he was mad I took his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's like that sometimes. First question is, what does your name mean to you? <laughs> it means everything. That's all you got is your name, shit. My name is special because my auntie gave me that name and she passed away. I got you. I'm sorry for the loss, man. For sure. That's cool, though. So it's like a childhood name, basically. Hell yeah. It always stuck with me. Awesome. Everybody called me that. It's really duty to locate with it growing up. Gotcha. What have you been working on lately? Uh, working on an album called What Made Me. But right now, I ain't even been like really focused on the album. I just, I took like two, three months off recording, so I'm trying to get back in the mode of recording. I hear you. I hear you. Now you just got to take a step back, I guess, you know? Yeah, I took a step back and been on my in-house daddy duties. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Tell me more about your collab with Dirk and how y'all initially met up and linked and everything. We got the same best friend, Chief Wood. <laughs> yeah. Man, in 2013, Wood could come to Kankakee and then it just happened like that. Back and forth to Chicago and Kankakee. Dirk ain't like me at first. He yeah. used to kick with my little brother. <laughs> yeah. He was mad I took his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's like that sometimes. How has being signed to OTF impacted your career? Man, it just put more eyes on me. I've been in music like all my life for real, for real. So this shit been 10 years plus. Damn. We a family, so I don't look at it like no music shit on label. And we a label, but at the same time, it's family. It definitely put a lot more eyes on me, especially for me coming from a small town. What messages and vibes do you want to share on that album? I'm basically letting them in on my life, like what made me. It's like self explanatory. I'm going to let them know, like, shit I've been through, like, what made me do the like, what made me. Or the shit I've been through, it made me stand strong. Cause so I'm gonna tell them about the hard times, the good times, the shit, all the times, like the sad times, being broke, everything that's what made me who I am today. Gotcha, the ups and downs type shit. And where are you from? And what was your upbringing like? Huh, I'm from Kankakee. <laughs> really from Kankakee. And my upbringing was really like big brother, the oldest brother out of all my siblings. I got one older brother. We got different mamas and daddies, but my upbringing was basically like shit, watching over my little brothers, taking care of them, and really shit, jumping off the porch early, 10 years old, 12 years old, that's a little boy running around. How has your environment impacted your music? It got lots to do with it, because if I ain't go through what I go through, I don't know what I've been talking about. I hear you. Probably be. <laughs> In the choir or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. I mean, it's still music. Uh, what does a normal day look like for you? It depends on if I'm busy or not. A normal day now, wake up. I'm always doing something. I'm networking it every day, like getting to the bag, taking care of family, shit like that. You hear my little six year old and then she back on me right now. <laughs> That's cool. What motivates you to keep going every day? Making my kids happy for real. Showing shit I couldn't see when I was a kid. That's why I'm so hands on in the tune with my fans because when I was young, I used to wish I was can holler at Lil Wayne and 50 Cent. You feel me? Yeah. So I always reach out. I might get an iPad and make that motherfucker just for the fans and put my email so they can call me. I'm real hands on with my fans. Every concert we go to, they tell me don't go in the crowd. I go in the crowd seat. <laughs> That's funny. What's your message to the younger generation? Man, this new generation is so crazy. It's like, it's getting worse and worse. Like, For real? I don't believe everything y'all see on social media. Like, everything not real. Everybody not rich, man. I know people that'll go buy an outfit and put it on and take a picture for Instagram and then go get their money back. Yeah, yeah, it's like that. It's cool being whatever you want to be. Being real is being true to yourself. That's the message I want to push. I respect that a lot, man. All right. Well, shit. Anyway, y'all know what's going on. Big duty yeah, low. Yeah. Dropping most shit. Signing it out. All right, gang.